Hello guys, what's poppin? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shewa and if this is your first time stopping back, you're very very much welcome. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Okay, so today I am going to be giving a review of the movie The Train. It's a Monzaya movie production and yes, let's get right into this review. <laughs> So, I want to just first of all give a plot of what the movie is about. The movie is a is based on a true life story, the life of Mike Abayomi Babiloye and he was the pioneer of Mount Zion movie productions and yeah, that's basically what the movie is all about. The movie is just telling uh, a story based on his life, what he went through and how he was able to, you know, establish a Mount Zion movie production was, and the Mount Zion movie production is basically strictly um, all about producing Christian and godly movies. So this was this is a this was a this was a, a, a video about a movie about the story life and how I was able to start doing that, how we got exposure from God and all of that. So I'm going to be as I'm giving a review of this movie, I'm going to basically be sharing some of the lessons. The lessons I've learned from this movie, which is a whole lot, guys. Uh, so when the movie said that they, they were speaking in this Elisha, uh, you see Elisha just a dialect, and I was like, wow, this is a really beautiful language. You no, know, people think Yoruba is just the regular one that we hear in Lagos, but no, Yoruba actually has a lot of dialect, and it was really, really nice to hear that dialect from them in the beginning of the movie. Also, the cast, guys, the small guy that acted, the younger. Mike Bamloye, I would say that guy was really really good. He was really really talented. Like he really really killed that role for me. I felt really really killed that role. And the director was a really good one. Okay, one of the one of the ex um, essential lessons that you can learn from this movie is faith and obedience. Now, a lot of time you could see when um, Mike Bamloye was getting instructions from God, and you didn't even know where these instructions were leading to but he had to obey and have faith a typical example of this was can be seen in the movie when he had to switch schools from one of the best schools to one of the not so good schools because god actually led him to go to the other school which was where um uh, god did him to be at that time you could see him <laughs> he was actually in tears when he went to the other school people were wondering why he had to leave at the club why he asked the Adeyemi to come to that other school because people just didn't understand what was happening and this is one thing that everybody is telling us with God when God gives you an instruction to the outside mind to the people that are looking at you or to every other person it might not seem very realistic or a very smart thing to do but if you have very very ground rooted uh, faith in God you have to understand that God's ways are not the ways of man so you have to be able to 100% have faith in God and Willingly, willingly obey the instruction that it gives you. Another important lesson in this movie is focus on God. Let your faith be on God. A typical example of this is when <laughs> it was when he was in the movie, he was um, dedicating his magazine and he expected that his sister would come and be able to give a huge sum of money. So it was really, really relying on her, forgetting that God that actually assigned you to do this, assigned you to go ahead and publish this magazine, assign you to do all these things, will actually make provision for you. So at that point in time, his focus and his trust was on his sister. And when his sister came and she was like, the one he had said, the start to collect from him to be able to depict the people. So you can see that the lesson there was that, let your focus be on God, which is like the ultimate. Instead of your focus being on human beings, because human beings are fickle and we can always fail you, but God, he never fails. The, fact, the, the wife, the role the wife played in this uh, movie, I could see the importance of you having a partner that is equally yoked as you, that really has the same vision as you do, that really has, um, that really understands the value and really understands your place with Christ because that is all that will actually help you to grow. Now, when people tell me they can marry someone that is not in their religion, I'm not really going to talk, dive, dive into this. Um, deeper but I just feel like if you have someone that's equally yoked with you that you guys believe in the same thing it will be easy for you to partner together with that person and progress together this was really this was really shown in the movie when Mike Bamloye got married to um, Shola yeah you could see that 
there was a lot of friction from people who really did not understand God's vision for their life. There was a lot of friction, even for my sister, because she could not she could not understand how someone would be a full time drama minister. Like she couldn't just get it. Like why would you quit your job and say you want to be a full time drama minister? based on the eyes of a human beings, like based off my own eyes like i'll be like yo do you really want to do this and he got married to that person and shola was able to understand and also like when she was she she knew she could she really believed that god was really the one that led him to do that and she understood that if god is the one that led you to do this god will always make provisions for his people and therefore there were no there was not going to be any problem with the marriage so that is why i so, sorry that's, that's one so that's one of that lesson i learned from this um movie the importance of having a partner that understands and is as equally yoked as you it just makes it's easier and it makes god purpose for your life to really come to play when you have someone that really really supports and understands you don't underestimate the importance of a very supportive and understanding partner also prayer i really saw a huge importance of prayer in this movie i could see that you know during the during the whole um process in the movie you could see some parts where you know it was having some doubts and it was having some he didn't understand how God's word was going to happen or what, how God has sent them on a message and doesn't know how that's going to happen and he kept on praying or he had the pe uh, people that were praying all around him an example of this was when he was when he was trying to you know was going around trying to do this stage drama and then he got to a church and then the pastor was like how many hours is this movie and uh, this stage play and he said two hours and the pastor was like two hours <laughs> i give you guys 15 minutes to do what you want to do and go and you can see that he didn't he wasn't he didn't understand how he was going to perform that drama within two a two hours drama within 15 minutes but he just still believed and he told those who are praying to keep on praying and then something would happen and of course if you've watched the movie something did happen prayer is actually very very important even if you watch through the course of the whole movie you could see that at, at every point in time when he was trying to ask for revelations or he, he didn't know what to do or he was confused and he asked his wife his wife would be like go back to god in the place of prayer and ask him to give you direction so the place of prayer is very very important with god there is no sitting on the fence like i cannot overemphasize it enough and a lot of christians and i would even say this to myself when i was you know when you make a decision to follow god and you know you're trying to build a firm relationship with god a lot of times you still want to be able to do the other things you your flesh wants or the other things you still would rather want to do and you know that these are not going to necessarily give you that close relationship with God that you um, crave for but because you just still want to do be able to do all that and still be able to be with Christ which doesn't add up you have to either drop those things and follow Christ alone or you go back to where you are There's, there is no system on the fence with Christ it can't be one leg in and one leg out and this is one lesson that I really really enjoyed in this movie you could see that at a point God actually demanded their hundred percent their hundred percent not having a job and also being a drama minister not also having a job and being an actor with the drama ministry he wanted them to fully be involved in the mission that they had for that um for that uh, drama group and that was seen when he actually asked them to go to Kano, and a lot of people were actually having mixed feelings which if you're a, which which we are um, realistically we can say ah that's actually a very good plan you can't, you can't just leave your job and then just go after christ but if you're in christ you understand that there's always a bigger picture and god will always make provision for his people for every message and every purpose he has given there is always going to be provision for you so that's when god demanded their hundred percent so i just thought that oh with god there is no sin on the fence you're either in or out and i'll really really say you have to be all in with god so basically this movie just shows that god can use anybody in any capacity at any time with anything with drama i mean drama at that time was not something that was really really relevant or something that you could see as a way of evangelizing and evangelizing to people it wasn't really seen that was also like a form of entertainment in church or something like that it wasn't seen as something that could used to minister to people and that was the direction god gave my family and you guys i really really enjoyed this movie and i really really picked a lot of lessons and i just thought to come and share so if you haven't watched the movie i'll be leaving a link 
in the description box i try not to spoil it too much so you guys can still enjoy the movie so if you've watched the movie you can let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to reply and yes if you if you go and watch the movie and you can share some of the lessons that you learned also in the comment section i'll be leaving the link once again in the description box so you guys should check it, definitely check it out and i'll see you in my next video bye